Hi, uh, Larry here from Phoenix Innovations and I'm here to talk to you about a, a new product that we're releasing for uh, casement, casement windows. The long-standing problem with the casement windows window is they tend to drop. Now you have um, three ways of, of, of hinging a casement window. You can, you can use a butt hinge, you can use a two bar hinge, in our instance we're recommending a, a four bar uh, friction stay. The difference between this four bar friction stay and anything else out there on the market is we've got an inbuilt feature or a riser block. So back to the problem, casement, casement windows tend to drop when they're opened and that happens in the case when you're using a four bar friction stay, as you can see from here, where the sash is attached to this sash plate the weight of the sash is away from the frame so it's not supported by the frame and will over time drop. So as it closes it's not square to the frame and will foul at one end um, and you'll get complaints from your customers. What we've done is built in a riser block so that when the window shuts self levels and squares into the frame. Getting rid of that age old problem of casement windows dropping and not coming back square into the frame. We offer this in a 13 to 15 mil cavity or rebate, um, 12 and 16 inch stays and then we have a heavy duty version as well for a 16 to 18 mil cavity. And they're available X stock, all 304 stainless cycle tested and meet all Australian requirements. Now another product that I'd like to show you, and I'm sure you've all seen this one before, um, is this little restrictor, a little restrictor say. Quite common um, and under the building code you know you have to restrict the openings uh, on awnings and casements and sliders and this one's been used for quite a while. But what a lot of people don't know is why it was designed this way and how it works. Now these were designed by myself and a fabricator about 15 years ago to work with four bar friction stays. Now the issue with a four bar friction stay or an awning stay is the friction doesn't work or come into being until after the sash has been opened about 100 mil because of the slide block configuration at, at about 100 mil the sash can be loose and will want to self close. As the window opens the friction kicks in and the window will hold open. But in the restricted mode at 100 to 125 mil the sash will self close so, and the restrictor won't hold the window open. So we had to come up with a restrictor that would work with a 4 bar friction stay and hold the sash open. So what we did was we came up with a series of pips which you can see here that click into place and will hold the sash open at the restricted dimension. But they don't engage too hard so that when you want to close the window they will disengage and the window will shut. So just a little lesson on how these were developed because uh, the people that you're probably buying them off wouldn't know what, why that's just a commodity to them, but just you know, give you a bit of an insight into how and why these were developed from the people who originally designed them.